Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. And click the bell. Okay. <laughs> she started scratching me. <laughs> go ahead and subscribe. Like this video already. Go ahead and share. And don't forget to hit that, tap that bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Um, and today, guys, I have my friend Armani. Yay! You can go ahead and follow her on Instagram. I will have her uh, Instagram located in the Underscore description box below. The door. Today, we're gonna do um, just a Q and A, um, just a YouTube tag on uh, questions you've never been asked before. So, without further ado, let's get into the video all right so i found about like 50 of these questions but um we're just going to select certain ones so i'm gonna do one and she'll do one and we'll answer them so so on and so forth all right uh last time you were insulted the last oh. time i was insulted honestly was um on the phone because i work at a call center job and it's a lot of people that call in complain about stuff and sometimes I get insulted even though I was there I wasn't at the location and where they had this experience and yeah so <laughs> but I get insulted a lot so yeah last time I was insulted was at work like some of my co-workers are like some big you know what and you have to deal with them like so one day we were at the job and it was it's just this whole situation about customers and who's right, who's wrong. So obviously my coworker was wrong and I told them about themselves and like I don't know, they I guess felt some type of way because they knew they were in the wrong but then insulted me but then after that like apologized. But you know, I got time for that. Don't be Meaning behind your YouTube name or other username. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what let me see the meaning behind my youtube name so my youtube name of course is toya's journey and toya's journey of course my name is toya my name is la toya but my name is toya for short and um journey of course is my journey overall with my channel and um of course the things that i go through and um, you just see my growth basically with my channel, so it's Toya's journey. So it makes a lot of sense, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and mine is underscore lovely adore, which I really actually got from one of my ex boyfriends, which is crazy. He used to call me lovely, and I just put adore at the end, so yeah. And ever since then, I just went by lovely adore. <laughs> Have you ever been catfished? Have I ever been catfished? No. <laughs> I think I probably have been catfished. Before the show catfished ever came out. <laughs> so you guys know when we had Bebo, right? You ever had a Bebo page? No, but I heard about it. <laughs> I never had one though. So, I kid you not, I swear this dude to this day, this dude named Rico Johnson, he was on Bebo. I promise you. I was in like middle school. I think I like, I, I really liked him. He was light skin, you know, like one of those pretty Ricky looking boys. And I swear his pay was a catfish. I swear to this day his pay was a catfish. It's crazy. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so serious. <laughs> Girl, wow. For real. But other than that. I can imagine being catfish. Girl, like, oh, you thought that was that person. <laughs> and then you go to their house, it's a big old gremlin. Like mm -hmm. two foot five. Usually, people I talk to is always like the same people. Like I went to school with, or somebody I went to work with. I don't really meet anybody online anyway, for real. So, yeah, yeah, no, that is the way to go. But this was middle school, though. That was middle school. Uh, we don't do that now. No online. I hope we not doing that. Now. <laughs> no, no online. We don't know these people. 
ever been in a physical fight? I've been in one fight my whole life. That's that's a story for another. Let's just, this is whole story time. I had it on another video, but yeah, I've only been in one fight, one physical fight for real, like my whole life. I played for it before, but a physical fight for real, yeah, and that's crazy. But story for another time. <laughs> physical fight. To be honest, mm, once. When I was a kid, I don't fight. I don't like to fight, so no, I have not been no fight. I don't fight. I'm not a fighter either. It was so, egged on, so yeah, no, it was. Oh, I was uh 13. I don't fight. I had no reason to fight. I got along with everybody. I don't fight. I'm not a fighter at all. How long does it take you to shower? <laughs> there for a good 45 minutes to an Look, hour. That was the first popped up question. This is so good. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes I take long showers. Sometimes I don't. But my friend here, yes, I can personally agree to her hour showers. Yeah. It's no problem. It's, well, I'm just saying. She wipes, <laughs> she cleans. I promise you, this ain't Aquafina, okay? You feel me? Definitely. The most best. But real. it just be feeling so good. Y'all know that most feeling. Like, yes. You don't want to get out. It just feels so good. You just got to yes. stand there for an extra minute. Rub a dub dub, all that chocolate. Delight. You know, that's my favorite word. <laughs> Have you ever had your heart broken? Yes. And I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, that was... Yeah, that's probably why I'm a big bitch now. I mean, big B arch now. So, yeah, I have. Mm. Yes, I definitely, I definitely <laughs> that was have. a sentimental moment. Yeah, just. But, yeah, I definitely have had my heart broken before. So, yeah, that's. That's that's another video too. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> but yeah, when you have your heart broken, so especially by ever. somebody like you really like and you feel like it's like, especially when you're a female, you got all these emotions and it's just so much, it's so much, and you really like this person, like really, really genuinely like this person, and it's yeah, like I they think. not give you the same energy back. It's like. It's okay. It's okay, girl. Let it out, girl. Let it out. Stop. It's okay. Go. Anyway, so <laughs> you're next. <laughs> if you were to have a Freaky Friday moment, who would it be? A Freaky Friday moment? Yeah. Who would you be? Who would I be? Yeah. If you ever had to have a Freaky Friday with someone, who would you be? Rihanna. I, no lie. Like... I love me some Rihanna. Like, I mean, I don't follow her on every little thing, and I don't get all of her things from Fenty and all that, but I I fuck with, like, her, how she moves and the fact that she does different things. She just, I think she's just an amazing person overall. And, like, the way she helped people, the doing the whole makeup thing. The, I mean, I don't know how to really yes. Fendi, Fendi. I don't really know how to <laughs> Fendi, Fendi. how to say how I feel for real about that, but I yeah I would definitely change for Rihanna. She's really like one of those females that kind of inspire other females to do your own thing, be your own boss, be your own person. And that's it. Do you boo. do you do you boo. oh hmm mine would be. Keisha Kior. Who is that? Gucci's wife. Wow. Because she is a rider. And she also does has her own um, makeup collection. She has different fashion. She's a very good fashion icon. She does have a lot of places that she volunteered to and contributes to. And I felt like when Gucci was locked up and she held him down, triple his money, like that's loyalty. I would want to, you know, just see how her life is in a day like Keisha Kiora is she's very role model she works out every day shoot I would like to live in her shoes for a day Freaky Friday seriously she's a really nice she seems like she's a nice lady have you ever led a person on yes I <laughs> who has it whether like you
you really wanted to talk to them or not, like... Well, majority of the time is the, you don't want to talk you to don't. the person for real. For real. That's why you and lean them on. So. On. They keep egging it on. And yeah. you just be like, okay, is this this is what you really want? Then okay. Is it, it's, I mean, you want to stay here, then I'm going to give you a reason to stay here. But best believe after a while, you won't get juice. The boots. And the boots. The boots. Out the door. You see the door? What is something you would do when no one's watching? <laughs> it's a lot of things I do when no one's watching. <laughs> I think everybody does things when no one is watching. Like, let me see, what is something I do when no one's watching? Hmm. Oh, she knows. She just trying to pick which one she wants to say. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, she knows. I don't know what to say. I guess. I, I. Well, no, I do that. Well, I kind of like pass gas really loud. Like, I kinda, like, <laughs> try to let that thing out. You know, you heard. <laughs> Sometimes you got to force that thing out when it just don't want to come out on its own. You got to like. You don't shot yourself. <laughs> But see, no, I don't, I don't do it like that. Like, I kind of wait a little bit, and then I just let it slip out a little bit more. And then I just, like, hold it. That's the wet one. <laughs> you got to check your panties after that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do the same thing, too. Don't worry. <laughs> Let's see. Every girl passes that. <laughs> Every girl passes that. Oh, my God. That's embarrassing. <laughs> You told the the audience. I know. I just can't think of nothing else that I, I mean that's 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 something I would have to sit and really like think about because it's like when I don't I'm by know. myself, I think I go and pick. When I'm like, by myself, my I'm by myself though. I try to get my blackheads off when I'm by myself. Yeah, blackheads. Mm -hmm. Like little blackheads. I'm like yeah. Have you ever peed in the pool? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who has it? Yes. What? <laughs> Man, my mom be taking me to the pool all the time. Rob be having to pee all the way there. I be like, dang, I got to pee. I should have left while I left the house. I should have did it before I left the house. Hop right in the pool, change clothes, skip the bathroom because you're trying to hurry up and get in the pool and just piss right in the pool. Oh my. I was like, eight. <laughs> now I was like, five or six. Pool, it's your turn to answer. But, um, yeah, I have before. Like, I be in the pool and... I don't feel like getting out, and I really gotta go. Like I'm going, like make sure ain't nobody around me or nothing. Cause you gotta do one of those, like the little peeping piece. <laughs> so you gotta like move around a little bit. Sometimes I might just, you know, get a don't warm. don't like listen. I'm gonna say this, but if you see me at a pool <laughs> and I'm moving around, that don't mean I'm peeing in a pool. It just means I'm just chilling, like you know. She's peeing in it. <laughs> that don't mean I'm. <laughs> she ain't pissing in the pool. No. I think the only way you can tell is if I like <laughs> have that awkward look on her face, like. And then like I, I kind of like slide away. I don't really like swim because I can't really swim because the real. water's warm. But like <laughs> I could just like I just like kind of like. Yeah, cause she knows slide she away <laughs> on her boots. <laughs> the water's pretty warm around where she just peed. Okay. No one will ever know. No one Man, that would suck. Like that movie That's on the grown up. Is for. What was that movie? Grown ups when they had like peed in the pool and the pool turned blue. <laughs> yo, if that happened, yo, we will all get caught. <laughs> Everybody that get caught. We will all know. get caught. That would that you would be so crazy. Still pissing in the pool. Grown folks probably still pissing in the pool. That would be so crazy. I would be like, uh, it was not me. <laughs> What is the most embarrassing thing you've done in public? I feel like one of them was walk around with one shoe on and one shoe off. That was like, I was like nine, I think. Nine or ten. And I was coming home from like a Halloween party with my mom's old friend. And because they was like having like a Halloween party with the kids and everything like that. And she wanted to take me with her. So I did. I, I went and then like all the kids like well fast forward and then um all the kids was downstairs in the basement we was all listening to music then they had like 
these like little lights on or whatever so they turned off the main light and they had like the little other little lights flickering and well, not flickering but they were just going off or whatever so then um of course i take off my shoes but in my head there's a little voice telling me toya don't take off your shoes keep your shoes on but what do i do take, take them off, off the anyway <laughs> so long story short i got in trouble for that shit. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, I had to. That was embarrassing to be like to walk around one shoe on and one shoe off, like, like literally walking around like in the, on the train around the train station, like, cause I couldn't find my other shoe. Embarrassing. Damn. But yeah, long story short, never go anywhere and take your shoes off, especially if you don't know these people and the lights be off. Don't do it. You might not come back with your other shoe. Or your soul. Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. Okay, so, um, my most embarrassing moment was at Westlake High School. And I was going on the dance field to dance. And it was this hole in the ground. And I'm doing my thing, you know, doing my thing. I'm getting ready to walk out, and my whole leg goes in the hole. Now, mind you, I'm going to perform now. So I'm on my way out, I slip in the hole, it's a nail inside the hole, so once my leg goes in there, the leg, the nail goes into my leg, girl for real, look, that's serious, so the leg, the nail goes into my leg, and <clears throat> I pull it back out and I'm leaking, I mean like leaking blood, but I, that was embarrassing because now I performed this whole routine with a bleeding leg. So it was pain, not only embarrassing, but painful because I almost fell on in front of a whole entire audience. Wow. So yeah, it was crazy, but painful. But I still made it though. Well, you made it. <laughs> what is the place you want to visit? Paris. I always wanted to go to Paris. Paris? Yeah. I want to go to Paris too. Yeah. Must have blood cool. What's the place I like to visit? I want to visit Jamaica. Like, yeah, ma. I've always wanted to go to Jamaica. Shoba. Just cause, just cause. Cause the bati batis are there. And like everything, I'm pretty sure it'd be like great vibes, especially cause of me and how I am with people. Like they would love me out there. Because they smoke the marijuana and get hot. Well, not just cause of that, but you yeah. know. I definitely want to like try their foods out there. Cause you can't get like really good Jamaican food out here. Like, yes, you can. Girl. You, I mean, you can, but I'm saying like it's better when you go to the place oh, yeah. and they make it from their place. Mm -hmm, that is so, true. Cause I like Caribbean food. I love okay. me some Caribbean. Food. Like fufu and goose pepper soup. Oh, it's all good. Mm. So good. What was the last thing that made you cry? The last thing. That I looked at that question and I look and I looked past it because I was like I don't even know. <laughs> what well, was that? I think it was a TV show probably. Yeah, mine was a TV show. Okay. <laughs> I was like, <sighs> was I feel emotional. like it was probably was it just watching the half and half and half not. Probably that either that or it was probably some other show and I was like already in my emotions. <laughs> yeah, I know what the so, feels too. Yeah. Okay, so let's change that. What are your fears or phobias? Last question. What are my fears or phobias? I don't think I have a phobia necessarily. But I do have a fear of... Sometimes I have a fear of being around people. Like, a lot of people. Claustrophobic. Especially, like, like, I'm really nice, so... You know, you could talk to me and I'll be like, hey, you know. But if I don't know you and you, like, kind of brush up against me, I'm going to look like. I don't like, I don't even like when people like, oh, oh, 
I don't know what this is, but I don't like when people come and touch me, like, and you don't know me, or we might have a good, decent little conversation here, but that doesn't mean you can just touch me out of the blue, like, I don't like that, I don't know what that is, but don't touch me, <laughs> don't touch me, okay, you don't know me, don't touch me, <laughs> but, yeah, I, I'm a, I don't know, oh, and I have a fear of people in costumes like just like real big costumes like you would see a disney channel like donald duck or mickey mouse like, yes don't look at me like that so that... you scared of chucky no chucky cheese just like oh, chucky why well, i ain't scared of... what chucky look, you talking about then? both chuckies i kick the shit out of little chucky uh -uh. I'm like not... little chucky no i'm not i afraid. kick little chucky. but big chucky literally like i cannot stand somebody in a costume and they just like get really close to me that just, that just set me off, like, please, I might start crying, like, I, I don't know where it came from, I just don't like it, or, or being in the elevator too long, like, that'll freak me out a little yeah, bit. I don't like ele elevators, but, that's my uh -uh. phobia. Especially, like, it goes up and it just, just like, stops, so it does, like, this, yeah, that little, this little motion. motion. Mm -mm. Yeah. Because mm -mm. I feel like the to. whole thing going to just, like, collapse, like... <laughs> Everything we all we all going down. And this we point. don't want to fall from. We all going down like the Titanic. It was nice to meet you. I love you, even though I don't know you for real. Well, thank you guys for tuning into this video today and meeting my friend Armani. I will leave her information in the description box below. Thanks for tuning in. Go ahead and hit that tap that bell icon. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Go ahead and like this video. Give it two, three, four, five, six, ten thousand thumbs up. Go ahead and tell your mom, your cousin, your brother, your, your sister, your nephew, your all auntie, them. your uncle, all them. Tell everybody to come to my channel. Show your girls some love. And if you don't know, now you know. It's your girl Toya. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.